cuties welcome back to my channel my name is Sarah if you are new here we're doing a day in the life today because I haven't done this in a while I usually go through my entire week but wanted to do like a full day in the life so here we are thank you to cotton for sponsoring this video I have been wearing cotton stuff all morning it's so cozy perfect basics i love working with cotton i've worked with them many times before i'm very excited to be working with them again i'm wearing the high neck tank in the natural color and then i have on these ribbed lounge pants in black these are amazing the fit of them is so incredible perfect for spring summer lounge you could do errands on them but also perfect from work from home which is what i'm doing and yeah, so on Mondays, I typically have kind of like a Sunday because I'm self-employed. I get to make my own schedule, which I'm super grateful for. But that just means that a lot of the tasks that I feel as though most nine to fivers do on Sunday, I do them on Monday. So first thing we are doing after I did my whole morning routine, workout, breakfast, work, initial emails, that sort of thing, I'm going to change my sheets. And it works out great because I just got a new duvet set from Cotton. They just launched their bedding, their linen bedding. One of the most special things I think about Cotton is they really care about making products that are um, sustainable and ethically made, as well as just being really transparent about where their stuff is made. Um, they work directly with small hold farmers. Every purchase with Cotton goes back to those communities where their product comes from. Through the funding of Literacy Program, they have this really cool initiative called the ABC Program, and they have helped to fund like over 15 schools I think and build seven themselves which is really really amazing and I just love what they stand for just really aligns with my val my personal values and brands that I like to work with and shop with they have so many cool pieces I love all their stuff I'm even wearing their socks which are so comfy and cozy I got them in the olive green color they're just a perfect pair of rib socks these feel so soft I went with the raven color because I always have really light bedding on my bed and I kind of wanted to just switch it up a little especially since I feel as though like the most the majority of my space is really neutral and light so I wanted to kind of have something that was a little bit more grounding in here so that's what we're gonna do I've been looking for a reason to look the other way been waiting here for a Getting old, it's getting late Even in the snow light I can see That this habit's not healthy So let's wake them up I'll wake them up My sleeping dogs Still holding patterns tightly Unholy rituals, nothing new Drinking and stressy Victoria has been completely unhinged super windy it was like really stormy and hailing and then now it's like beautiful and sunny which is very classic Victoria but now that it's sunny I'm gonna take this quick opportunity to go run some errands and I just put on the cotton anti-fit denim and I wanted to show them to you because they're one of my favorite pairs of denim to wear and I just wanted to show you the fit of them so here they are I'm still wearing the same tank top I've been wearing all day and then here are the anti-fit denim in the light wash. I have mine in a size 2. And they are super, super high-waisted. My belly button is, like, way down here. And I just love the fit of them. They're, like, relaxed. Um, they are meant to be gender neutral. They have a combination of masculine and feminine cuts. 
and I really love that. And the length is good here. I'll take off my slipper so you can see. I'm 5'3", and they just hit right at the tops of my feet, so really, really cute, and I love them. It's about 3 o'clock now. I have finished a majority of my work for the day, which was um, shooting content, emails, I'm editing thumbnails for my vlogs, uh, that sort of thing. And now, like I said, I'm going to go to the store, and then I think I'm going to make some pita bread because I've been craving pita and hummus, so I think I'm going to make some homemade pita bread and some homemade hummus this evening after I finish up work, but I'm going to take advantage of the sun right now and go to the grocery store. I'm back from the store. I just had an extremely traumatic experience with a spider. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw, so... That was less than ideal and I still oh I still have so many like shivers on my spine <laughs> every time I'm in this area of my house. Essentially I went to go put on a pair of shoes and there was a massive spider in one of them. I vacuumed it up, but I'm now I'm scared that it's gonna come out of the vacuum or that it's still alive in there. Oh my god, literally, I don't know if you're gonna have to see this, but the hairs on my arm are literally standing up. I did go to the store and I got a few bits and I'm just gonna have lunch right now. I'm gonna make my Costco creamy dill pickle salad for lunch, which is typically what I have for lunch if I'm not having like a snack or something. And then I'm gonna get to making my dough and my hummus. I don't know if I'll ever recover from this. <laughs> I really do not mess with spiders. Spiders, snakes, and sharks. My three no-go zones. So, um... I might have to move out. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to move out, sell everything, and leave the Uggs behind. tahini and I really don't want to go back to the grocery store so I don't think I'm gonna make my hummus but I did just make the dough it's good to be in the fridge for like a week and I can just like pull it out and roll it out fry it up as I want and then tomorrow or some other day I can go get tahini baking and cooking is definitely something I really enjoy doing to fill my free time as someone who lives alone and who's single and who doesn't see your friends every day. This is like what I like to do. I do really like making breads and like focaccia bread, pita, that sort of thing because it takes up my time and it's a nice little distraction and it's just really therapeutic to do. My mom just came over because bless her heart I couldn't empty the vacuum to get rid of the spider I'm just in the middle of I was just in the middle of cleaning my bathroom and she came over she just walked over but I'm not even kidding she lifts up another shoe there to like check to see like you know check all the rest of my shoes just by chance there's another spider and there was another spider like i literally screamed i was like what are the odds of there being two spiders there in the same day in my shoes i'm gonna have to leave anyways she emptied the vacuum it's in the trash can outside so hopefully i'll be able to sleep at night <laughs> okay i'm gonna get back to cleaning my bathroom but i just had to i just had to share that with y'all i